All right, guys, back here and welcome back to DaVinci Resolve. Uh, this playlist talking about different DaVinci Resolve settings that you can do within the project settings. Last video was about camera raw. If you didn't watch it, please watch it just down here. The capture and playback is what we're gonna look at now. Now, let's assume you have a capture device and you have your deck so you are ready to record. Now, guys, if you don't really have a capture device, then Black Magic design makes these capture devices and I believe that they have the best capture devices ever guys these guys are really doing a great work to make everything really affordable and really in the highest quality possible so let's go to settings so I just want to go to deck settings and we have different options here we have the video capture and playback which quality do you want to do you want to capture and play back all your footage well i want it to be in hd 1080 and then 23.97 frames per second you want 24 or 25 you can even go crazy up to 8k if you're on the studio version free version i don't really think you can go up to this much i think you can go up to hd i don't know uh, somewhere down there i don't know <laughs> could be but this is how much you can go and up to 60 frames per second in 4 3 2 20 4 3 20 pixels 8k guys that's really a very heavy video and just choose anything you really want i'm just gonna go with 1080p and uh, 24 frames per second and um, that's really great for me and then you can also choose whether you want to use your left and right isdi so this word uh, this majorly means that you you are you viewing uh, your scenes in the based format in the based form and you can also choose your video connection as operating as a 444 SDI so what this three really means is kind of like the more standard version of uh, of your video camera operation and uh, you can also change the SDI configuration to either quad or single but I just really prefer the droning you now quad is gonna take a lot of system resource and if you're on a slow computer then you're not gonna have the best quality best experience possible and I want to turn your eyes to the data labels make sure it's always on video not full um, if you want to full it's fine but you're gonna have to use more of RAM and more of storage because this the file is gonna be really big look at a video bit depth you either make it 10 so I am limited to 10 the video resolve is kind of you know making it the best for you so it's uh, making it to be only 10 which is really great and then you can also choose whether to use check I mean whether you choose deck auto edit auto edit within your deck or your capture device or you don't so non auto edit trimming you know you just wanna uh, set up things here so auto trimming just means that you recorded something could be for for so long and so you want to have the first five seconds trimmed off you know something like that and then video output sync so, source this is always auto you can't really do anything with that i want to point your eyes to the capture now this guy this was deck settings and then this is the capture settings when you are capturing a video you want to choose what are you capturing are you capturing video and audio or you're capturing video only just choose anything that you really want video format you can play around with this quick time is really great and i really like it the codec change the codec to either 10 bit or 8 bit it depends on what you really want to have if you really have a strong computer you can even go to uncompressed rgb 10 bit even up to yuv 10 bit so i can just go crazy with that <laughs> but i think dn hd 720 where well, i don't know uh, 1080 i think 1080 10 bit is really nice yeah that's great and then save clips too so you want to go and browse and choose your different folder here that you want to have been captures could be in um, my disk i'm just going to put it in disk d and davinci and completed and you know different stuff in here just want to press ok and just save it and then save this save in this folder path you can also turn on different things you want to save the program name the clip name the real number the role or card the file name different stuff the header i don't know just play around with anything you really want I just play around with this and then use prefix could be you want to have some prefix like record like that that means it's gonna show before the name of your video which is really great for for uh, distinction distinction from any other video that you are recording within davinci resolve you can also apply prefix to file name or the folders that's really great well i think file name is better 
and then you can also use frame number different frame numbers here that you want to have i want to go to play out now what do you want to play out could be you are live streaming and you want to have some play out would you only want to play out video only or only audio only or only video only so just choose anything that you really want to have put source time code just play around with these settings and you'll be done thanks for watching let's meet the next video bye bye